Hi, and welcome to Meet the Candidates 2013 Voter Education Program brought to you by the Shakopee Chamber of Commerce. My name is Angie Whitcomb. Our hope is that these candidate profiles and interviews will help you, the voter, understand your choices when it comes to the 2013 election. We ask voters to arm themselves with the information necessary to make educated choices and to get out the vote on November 5th. Please visit the Chamber website to find out information about future candidate debates, as well as polling hours and locations. And thank you for making the Shakopee Chamber and Visitors Bureau your election information resource. Hi, and welcome to Meet the Candidates 2013, a voter education program sponsored by the Shakopee Chamber and Visitors Bureau. My name is Angie Whitcomb, and today I am joined by Shakopee City Council candidate Mark Reimler. Mark, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. We thank you for it. having me. Mark, why don't you uh, start by telling the audience at home a little bit about yourself and what made you decide to run? Certainly. Uh, my name is Mark Reimler. I have lived in Shakopee for the last 12 years with my wife, Lori. Uh, I've had a very a, a quite a varied history in my work experience. Uh, I started out in, uh, I've been an officer in the military, I flew helicopters in the military. I've worked in retail at Best Buy and Target. I was a buyer and I've also worked in business development at Best Buy. And for the past 10 years, I've worked as a realtor here in Shakopee. And my experience from being in, in real estate, I understand property values very well. I understand why families want to move to a community. Um, my background in retail has given me a very strong understanding of financials. And my experience in the military really taught me problem solving, um, how to think outside of the box, really grounded me in a love of country, uh, honor, and really appreciate what we have here at home. That's great, thank you. So Mark, in your view, what is the most pressing issue facing Shakopee today and in the next year? And if elected to city council, how will you recommend addressing that issue? It's a great question. I think for any city, spending is gonna be one of the biggest issues that we have. Um, and I think we all understand that a city has to spend money to provide a safe and enjoyable environment for the citizens. Um, I think that um, what I would want to bring to the city council is more accountability and uh, more transparency and really a justification of where those dollars are being spent. Real quick example, recently at a city council meeting, the uh, pay the pay amounts for the city council and the mayor were on the agenda. City staff came in, uh, presented a recommendation based on what some other cities have been paying the city council and, and the mayor. And this, the city council uh, disregarded the recommendation and it, it felt like they picked numbers at random. And I've got, I, I firmly believe the city council and the mayor are underpaid for the amount of time they spend and the work they do. But I was just, uh, I had an issue with the attitude of spending money that the council wasn't, um, they, they were disregarding where that money was coming from. And I think the city council can never forget that they are writing checks that the people have to pay for. Good point, good point. So being that this interview is being conducted and supported by the Chamber, tell me, Mark, how would you support the health of the business community in Shakopee if you are elected to council? Well, I, I am definitely pro-business. Um, Shakopee m really must cultivate as, as much new business as possible. Uh, uh, business growth is the, the incubator for growing a city. Shakopee needs to use all the tools that are available, whether that's tax credits or sewer credits or uh, joint efforts using scale with, the, with Scott County. But we really have to grow business because again, growing business is gonna grow the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if somebody was considering moving their family or their business here to Shakopee, what would you say to them to convince them that Shakopee is the right place and the best place to be? Well, in, in talking to a business, I'd say four things. Shakopee has an educated, motivated workforce. We've got plenty of land. We've got easy access to transportation. And I think we have a pro-business city government. Um, for a family, I'd say 
Shakopee has a, a preponderance of, of parks and golf courses and entertainment opportunities. Uh, people want to live in a city where they feel safe and, and, it, and the city's enjoyable, and I think Shakopee has that. That's great. Great. So, Mark, there are four other candidates vying for two open seats on the council. What do you think separates you and your qualifications from the other candidates? Why should people vote for you? I, I think my background, in, in, in my financial background and, and analytical background, really will help me uh, get the best bang for the buck in dividing up a limited resource that's our tax base. My real estate background really helps me understand what families are looking for in a, in a, when they move to a city and that's going to help directing where we should be going next with Shakopee. Um, I know how to think outside of the box. I think my strongest skill set is problem solving. The military taught me problem solving. There's no problem that can't be surmounted in, in, in finding a, a good solution to the problem. Um, and I think more importantly, I know when to listen and when to act, and I will always act in the best interest of Shakopee. I'm asking for your vote, and I appreciate taking the time to let me tell the Shakopee people what I'm all about. Well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining this edition of the 2013 Meet the Candidates, brought to you by the Shakopee Chamber and Visitors Bureau. Please be sure to check out the Chamber's website at shakopee.org for all information leading up to the November 5th, 2013 election.